Greetings guys, it's Rob Chappers and welcome to Coffee Time with Rob Chapman here in the Leisure Lounge at Casa Chapa, where you're all welcome to enjoy yourselves digitally on a almost bi-daily basis. So today I have something a little bit different for a Rob Chappers type review. I have the <laughs> A Girl in a Box or the Rode NT1A. Now, who here knows much about microphones? Not me, but I know just about enough to give you a guide walkthrough on the basics of the condenser mic, the classic condenser mic from Rode, the NT1A. If you don't know anything about condenser mics, let me give you the layman's guitar player type explanation. Basically, a condenser microphone makes things sound like they sound. So if I put a condenser microphone in front of a guitar, it sounds like you would hear it in the room. It's a very natural sounding microphone, very sensitive. So they're great for things that have a lot of dynamic, really quiet things and then really loud things. Although if they are quite a loud source, you wanna back the microphone off so it doesn't overpower the microphone, uh, the capsule. So basically, Condenser microphones make things sound on a recording the way they do when you listen to them in the room. Now, Rode Microphones, being the incredibly high-tech company that they are, have also innovated something called taste sensitivity. It's a simple switch. There's a little gold button on the front that if you just touch it, it activates mode one, which is taste zero. 3.1, with a cross say bow, sell a like da 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 3.1. This goes out to all the DEJs, making moves, yeah, on the dance floor. Press it one more time and it activates taste on. Yeah, 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 oh, 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 uh. Black crew small down a yellow lane Made you feel alive again Crack wings in a broken sky Kept you from the love that we were Living in the sunshine It's basically a bit of a workhorse, road machine, go-to microphone for loads of producers and engineers um, Been around for years and years and years Road manufacture their microphones in Australia. Did you know that? I had no idea at all. And they machine every single part at the factory. So this is what you get in the box. You don't get the girl, but you do get uh, all this. Yeah, how exciting. So to begin with, you get this wicked little bag, uh, which you can give to your girlfriend, or you can protect your microphone with. Uh, here is the NT1A. Now I've got it inside this kind of super special harness looking thing. This is a shock mount. Really, really useful if you are a 16 stone Simeon behemoth like myself and you use a rather affordable mic stand on a wooden floor so the stand rocks and moves. Basically it absorbs all the shock that the microphone would get from the surroundings and reduces the noise. Talking about reducing noise, actually this is something Rode is quite famous for doing. Um, the internals are engineered in such a way that they have an incredibly low self noise. This is a pop filter or pop shield, useful for many things, it says Rode in it, which is really cool. The first thing is that it prevents all the puh when you sing and speak or play or whatever from kind of overloading the microphone and giving you a spike. But also, it prevents the moisture, let's say, from your mouth getting onto the microphone are making it A, unhygienic, and B, uh, it's bad for the microphone to have moisture on it, which is why they supply the microphone with one of those little crystal bags that you should leave by the end of the microphone when you store it away. So in this boxed set of Joy a kit, I suppose you'd call it, which is 149 quid, which I think is great for anybody's money, you get the shock mount, you get the pop filter, and you get the classic NT1A microphone from Rode Microphones. But that's not all you get. You also get a cable from Rode XLR, so you can connect it to your mic pre, and you get a DVD telling you how to use it and a bit about Rode. Um, and apparently it's really good. I haven't seen it, but apparently it's very good. Um, now most of you probably mic up with an SM. This is the perfect partner for an SM to give you that slightly more natural roomy sound. And I absolutely recommend it. The NT1A is a phantom powered 
cardioid condenser microphone. And it's incredibly useful for all sorts of different applications. Now, I'm a singing guitar player. The great thing is that you can record vocals, and you can, we could record an acoustic guitar, or you could record an electric guitar with the NT1A. And that's what I did. So a bit of a different one for me, because I don't often do a lot of singing on YouTube. Um, but here you go, here's a bit of singing. Early in the morning, you get out of bed. No rest for the wicked, you can sleep when you're dead. Never giving up, even when the odds are worse than bad. It's enough to drive you mad. Mm, but I don't ever want to know why you try. Don't you worry. About me, I'm not to eat. No, don't you worry about me. I'm not to eat. Don't you worry about me. I'm not to eat. No, don't you worry about me. I'm not to eat. The cool thing about being a musician on a budget with one of these is that because it's got such a wide frequency response, but it's so quiet, you don't need a really expensive mic pre to get great clean results. So I'm just using cheap, simple mic preamp. Um, you don't need to have expensive gear to get great quality results, I think, anyway. It's all pretty simple to put together. I mean, the microphone just slips into the shock mount, screws in place. I'll give you a closer look at that right now. So here's your NT1A. Uh, it's just a solid piece of machinery. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. You can tell it's been put together with care and attention. There's a gold dot that faces your source. So if your cab is, if my speaker's here, you have the gold dot facing the speaker. And um, yeah, it's just a solid piece of great quality gear at a really, really affordable price. Like I said, it's just 149 for the whole kit. Okay, so it's guitar time. I'm going to be using this prototype ML3 for some of the clean tones and then a classic good old ML1 for some of the dirty tones from the NT1A. Now, I'm miking up through all the dirt and rubble. So here's my miking position, nothing particularly fancy or, or untoward. I'm just using the outside of the cone uh, slightly into the center and it sounds like this. Finally, here's a bit of acoustic guitar magic with my wonderful Faith guitar. Actually, it's my girlfriend's Faith guitar. And I've literally got a central position where the neck joins the body. But because I tilt my body slightly backwards because of the way I pick, it may look as if the microphone's slightly higher than it should be, but actually I'm aiming my speaker cone on the acoustic guitar up at the microphone. And it sounds really great. Check this out.
NT1A is one of Rode's best-selling microphones, and I guess the reason for that probably is because it can be used in so many different ways. You can even use it as an overhead for drums. Not that I'd be doing that. It's a really practical microphone, and if you're a guitar player or a singer uh, or a drummer, or you have any use for a microphone that picks up sound and gives you what you're hearing in your room, I absolutely recommend the Rode NT1A for anyone that wants to record sound. I've been Rob Chapman. You guys take it easy. Chappers out.